and muggles welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well today i'm back that's right guess who's back back again ready to snack <laughs> Anyway, welcome back to my channel. I've got two boxes full of delicious Japanese snacks, sweets, treats, and more. That's right, it is Battle of the Snack Boxes again. This time, it is a Sakura Picnic themed Tokyo Treat Box versus a Matcha and Mochi themed Sakura Ko Box. And a big thank you to both Tokyo Treat and Sakura Ko for sponsoring this video. If you want to see the last time I battled these two boxes against each other, then click here. Tokyo Treat delivers 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Whereas Sakura Ko delivers 20 tea traditional and authentic artisan Japanese snack items including Japanese teas and one piece of Japanese tableware with your box every single month. So if you like the sound of Tokyo Treat or Sakura Ko and like what you see in today's video as per usual I got you covered with a discount. If you use code CHERRY it'll get you five dollars off your first order. Check out the links in the description. Oh and be sure to order by April 30th to receive this month's box. I'm ready to snack. I'm ready to snack. Okay, I don't know about you guys, I am so ready to snack now. You might notice there is an empty space here. That's right, I got a snacky buddy in this video now. Before I introduce her to you, you better be nice to her. She is my best friend. She is fabulous. You be nice. Okay. Akio Rachel. Woo! Magic. I had a budget cut. I had a budget cut. It's fine. Yes. <laughs> this is my best friend, Hello. Rachel. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome. Uh, I just didn't want to snack the whole box on my own. Like, so you know I can put away the snacks. So yeah, you can definitely put yeah. away the snacks. <laughs> so let's start with Tokyo Treat. It's a very nice pink box. It's very so nice. Pretty. I promise <laughs> I didn't like color coordinate my outfit. Let's get straight into it. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. It is cute. So we get a snacking guide okay. and this will tell us about all of the products inside. So, oh my God, before we get snacking, I've just seen something very exciting on top, but we are going to both be rating everything out of 10 and then compare our scores at the end to see what we like, what we dislike. But let's get on with it. I'm going to put the culture guide somewhere. Now you've had your sneak peek, so <laughs> I'm putting the snacks away. That means you can't see the oh, snacks. I've already seen something I want though. You're not allowed it. No. No. <laughs> okay, the first thing that I'm very excited about, it's got little bunnies it's on so it. so cute. <laughs> now, the last time we had a Tokyo treat, there was peach Kit Kats, which were heavenly. You've I mean, tried those. Yeah, you saved some for me. Now, it is Easter, so we're going to be trying the banana caramel Kit Kat. Now, I don't normally like banana things. Do you like banana things? I do love banana. Okay, so. let's open it on up and reveal. Ooh. Okay, here's one for you, here's Thank one for you. me. Let's snack. Okay, so it looks like a normal Kit Kat. That's so banana-y. I really like that. I like it so much. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. I give that a nine out of 10. Mainly Likewise. because banana's not my biggest favorite flavor, but it's really good. Those aren't gonna last very long, let me tell you. Okay, let's take a little look. So that was a Kit Kat Banana Caramel, and it's a new limited time only flavor from Kit Kat Japan, Banana Caramel. This popular snack has a banana caramel flavored chocolate base with banana and caramel powder mixed between the wafers. I love a good wafer, that was very good, I like that. Mm. Okay, next snack. These are Sakura, Sakura Eo? Sakura, Sakura, Sakura Iro. Mm. It's, anyway, they're marshmallows. <laughs> okay, let's open and taste test. Ooh! Uh oh. Run away, oh. marshmallow. <gasps> they're very soft. I One's not enough. Oh, hang on. With these, I've just realised they're a certain shape because you can. <laughs> oh, you can make a cherry bottom. I got very distracted shoveling them into my mouth, but um, <laughs> they are very good. <laughs> Those are really nice. So these are the Sakura Latte Marshmallows. And it says we're getting major spring vibes from these marshmallows. They come in two flavors. Okay, so they were two flavors. One, the Sakura flavor, which is pink, and then the other one is Sakura Latte, white. <laughs> they taste good together. Enjoy them on their own or as a topping for sweet drink. But what would you rate those? I'd give them an eight. I'd give them a seven. <gasps> Let 
Look Anna. Look how happy the Pringles man is. Why is he so cheerful? He's like, <laughs> he's like, <"Yee." laughs> um, <laughs> This is the Pringles man, and I don't even know what this is. So there looks like some sort of vegetable soup, and then there's a crisp. There's, it says milk, so are these like milk flavored? Let's see what flavor they are before we do it. Once you pop, you just can't stop. <laughs> I might not be able to stop. What, are you ready? If, what if it's cup of soup flavor? I love cup of soup. Mm. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, that Ooh. pop. Okay. Pringles cheers. <laughs> Oh my god, they get a 10 out of 10. When I say those are the best Pringles I've ever eaten, I mean it. Those are so good. So these were Pringles cream stew. So these are a new limited time flavor from everyone's favorite can of chips. Or crisps, as we say here. Pringles serves a rich and gentle cream stew flavor packed with cheesy goodness. You'll definitely have a hard time sharing these. Yeah, I didn't really want to share those with you. They're very nice. No, I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely give those a 10 yeah, out of 10. Yeah, 100%. Oh, you got 10. a 10? Yeah. Wow. That's when you know they're good. We're both those high, were highly amazing. rating them. Put the oh. drink down because I have a drink. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Now, I think I, <laughs> the name of this, if we, I don't know how it's actually pronounced. It's cow piss, not cow piss, cal piss. I don't know what cal piss is. That looks like, it looks like a soda. That looks like melon. Okay, you ready? Listen. Ooh. It's definitely melon. Yeah. I don't like it. I didn't think you would. Uh, more for me then. I'm not a big Melanie fan. I would give that like two. But we'll read. We'll read about it first. This is the Kelpies. 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 <laughs> Melon cream soda. One of Japan's most popular drink makers, Kelpies. Or Kelpis. <laughs> <laughs> brings its new and delicious cream soda flavor. It tastes just like a vanilla ice cream float in Japanese melon soda. It's perfect refreshment under the sakura trees. I don't like that. It gets a two. I really like this. What would you rate it? I would give this a seven, maybe an eight. It's really refreshing. You're so welcome to it. <laughs> the lucky dip hands going down. Ooh, we have got some crispy. <laughs> Crispy balls. <laughs> These look like they might be onion flavor. Look at the little onion people. They look like monster munch, but let's see what flavor they are. Wait, do you want to try one? Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> they're so good. They've got the same consistency as monster munch. The flavor is strong. Very, very Moorish. Mr. Onion Taro. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Onion, I approve. Corn puff snacks are always popular because they're light, flavorful, and have a great texture to them. This classic snack comes in an onion soup flavor. The yummy onion flavor and light texture are sure to make this snack. <gasps> they are good. They are really nice. They're almost a bit like, have you ever had Funyuns in America? What do you rate them? They're a 10. 10. They're a 10. <laughs> Is this? What does it say on the back? Nothing. Well, it does, but nothing we I can't, can't read. read Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing they're like little crispy bits. They look like dried noodles. They do. And I'm like, am I meant to put this in water? Are we meant to? Well, we'll soon find out. Look. Okay. Calm. They've gone everywhere. <laughs> why are they so good? And why are they so small? I'm like a hula. They're good. Can't take you anywhere. <laughs> so this is Ramen Shop Taro's Ramen Snack. Enjoy the bold flavors of this noodle snack that has the right amount of seasoning and crunch. It's light, but full of flavor. If you love ramen, then you'll love these. I do love ramen, and Them. I did love those. I give those a solid eight. Uh, I think they could have had a bit more flavor. Really? Yeah. Maybe you didn't have enough in your mouth. Open oh. wide. Oh. <laughs> Flavorful. Okay, that has up my score. Mm. Um, thanks. You're welcome. They Mr. get a nine. ramen snack. They get a nine. Yeah, nine. Mm. That's surpassed my. Well, I'm sticking with an eight. <laughs> oh, look at the little birdie. This looks like it's gonna be spicy. I have no clue on what flavor these are. They look like they're gonna be crunchy. And you guys know that I love the crunch. Do you like crunchy? Yes, I do. These don't look like they're gonna be something I like. 
Okay. Ooh. They're coated peanuts. I love coated peanuts. I like the crunch. Have you ever had coated peanuts before? M&Ms. <laughs> 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 So these were Sparrow's Egg Crackers, hmm. a classic sweet and spicy soy sauce flavoured peanut based snack, fried in flour to give it an extra crunch. Why is it spicy? It wasn't actually spicy, I'm not very no. good with spice personally. No, not. Um, I give those maybe like a seven, six, seven, they weren't like, they didn't excite me but they were nice. I would buy those again because I really like coated peanuts, I would give those a nine. Like I could easily see myself eating a whole bowl of those. They're quite moorish, I yeah. love the texture of them, very crunchy. <gasps> oh, I love the little fishies! What? I love little wafer fishies! <sighs> wafer fishies? I don't want to share this but I will. Because you're my bestie. That's true friendship right there. Yeah, I don't share my wife of fishes with you. <laughs> <gasps> smell that. Oh, that smells, that smells like hubba bubba. Mm, it smells very good. Let me get this little guy out of here. He's so cute. He is so cute. How am I going to halve this? <gasps> oh, no. I give you the bigger bit. Oh. Oh. Can I give things more than 10? So that's... Puku Puku Thai Puku Puku. Strawberry. Puku Puku Thai is back with its popular strawberry flavour just in time for your spring picnic. They have a crisp and fluffy texture covering a strawberry flavoured chocolate. If you find the heart shaped Monaco wafer, consider yourself lucky. It was very good. Uh, it's getting an 11 out of 10. Mm. You think I can't have more than 10? It's my channel. I could do what I want. <laughs> no, I give that an 11 out of 10. That gets an 11 from me too. They are amazing. my most favourite Japanese snacks. I've had a couple of chocolate ones in the past and they are so good. Oh, I really so good. like that strawberry though. That was so nice. Okay, what is this? Oh my god, this looks so so fun. Oh, look! It's a rainbow. It's a gummy. It's a sweet. Okay. Oh, it's really short. I love sweets. <laughs> so it's very striped and colourful, like like a little rainbow. <laughs> Here's a piece for you. Thank you. Do they have different flavours, like in the strips? I'm gonna try. I don't know. I'm gonna are try. I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna go all in one. Okay. They are. They are different flavours. They're different flavours. Okay. So the orange is orange. The yellow is lemon. Japanese mini monster gummies, a fruity Japanese gummy snack with a refreshing sour kick. I do actually really like sour stuff. It says enjoy your next picnic or snack time with these friendly little monsters. It didn't say anything about the flavours, but each strip was a different flavour. Really, really good. I like that. I give that, I want to give that a 10. I really liked it. I'm going to go 7. Ooh, okay. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of like sour stuff. I love sweets. Are you ready for a loaf? Oh! You can explore this one. Let's see what it looks like. <gasps> oh, that looks so that weird. Looks so Let's have a little look at what it looks like, like inside. I mean, it looks like it's got some jam. It's bits. very layered. Let's try some. They're just so good with their baked goods. This needs enjoying. I can't speak. It's too I'm sorry, I can't say this. It's too good. Tokyo Layer Loaf, strawberry and red bean. It says another Tokyo treat exclusive. We've partnered with Tokyo Natural Yeast to bring you this Japanese bread snack with strawberry and sweet red bean paste baked right in. Its sweet flavor is balanced with the richness of the bread. Honestly, I want to give it like a 12. I was going to say, can we go higher than 11? Can we give that a 12? That. <laughs> That was amazing. We shouldn't be giving extra no. bonus points, but that was exquisite. Are you ready for, what is it? You look at it first. I haven't seen it yet. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is it chocolate? It tastes like Nesquik cereal. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh my God. The I think that's meant to be cereal, right? <laughs> This one stuck. Cocobolo. These light and crisp treats add a hint of rich and bitter chocolate into your spring day. Try them in a bowl of milk. Oh. Or add them into yogurt. Anything goes. Or just eat the whole packet dry. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend them dry. They taste amazing. I give those, like... They get a 10 from me. Yeah, they get 10 from me as yeah. well. Okay, what have we got in here? Look at these little people. Oh, I think we've had some of these. I've had some of these before. Um, they're just really crunchy little bits of like... Mm. 
Oh yeah, they were, they're as good as I remember. That's really tasty. So good. Very savory, very salty. So this is Mochi Taro, a classic Dagashi from Yaokin. Yep, we'll go with that. <laughs> These lightly salted rice crackers come in a traditional package. These rice crackers are enjoyed by all generations in Japan and they can make for both the perfect afternoon snack, they're even better outside than to the cherry blossoms. I'm gonna give those a nine. 10. I've, this... got, I've got to hold back my tens. I'm sorry, but it looks like a bum hole. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. <laughs> A cola chewing candy. You love Coca Cola. I love Coca Cola. Here you go, one for you. And then let's see what they look I like. Mean, they don't look like the they're like that they did on no. the packet. I think it's a show that there's a gooey center. Um, they're like bonbons. Bon, 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 bon. Oh, they're squishy. Wow. Oh my god. Is that called face? It's a. I wasn't expecting that face. That's a lot of flavor in a little thing. Coro Cola chewing candy. If you love cola flavoured candy, then these Coro Cola chewing candy will hit the spot. With bubbles inside the candy, it'll be just like a nice cold glass of cola. Can't agree there. There's uh, no bubbles in it. No, I... It definitely tastes really strongly of cola. I would probably give those a five. Me too. I See, I like drinking cola, but I'm not a big fan of, of the, like, fake, the fake cola flavour. So, yeah. yeah. I give them a five. I'd say five. Okay, so we have got a packet of Sakura candy and this is a spring 2022 exclusive. I think these are exclusive to Tokyo Treat as well. Ooh. Oh, she's in, she's in. Oh, they're individually wrapped, oh, they're no. so cute. <gasps> these reminds me of polos, the fruit polos, which they discontinued in England. Oh, they were the best ones. Oh my God, they're like, what are those sweets? Cherry drops, cherry drops. Those are delicious. Tokyo Treat and Pine Ame Sakura Candy. A Tokyo Treat original collaboration with famed Japanese confectionery Pine Ame. The classic pineapple flavor gets the Sakura season makeover in this spring 2022 exclusive. Its unique pineapple shape is now pink with a juicy cherry blossom flavor. Pine Ame has made many other flavors before and we're excited to share this seasonal flavor with you. Right, so. The makers of these, they're normally pineapple flavour. So that would be where the shape comes I love from. pineapple flavour. You wish you'd got some of that. A little bit. These are very nice though. Very I would tasty. probably give those... <laughs> <laughs> Let me taste in my own way, guys. I will give those a six. I'm going to give it a five. A five. It was okay. There's been things that are better. I, yeah, I think the fact that everything else we've had in this box has been so good. This leaves us with... <laughs> this leaves us with a ramen bowl. I'm going to open it. I mean, it does smell quite nice. Yeah, a sniff. Oh, I like that. Uh, let's have a read about it. So this is the... Maruchan Red Kitsune Udon. It says Maruchan's Red Kitsune Udon is one of the most popular instant noodles in Japan. The noodles are served in a flavorful broth with dried bonito flakes, kelp, and topped with a large piece of double deep fried tofu. <gasps> oh, so that is. Um, I thought it was a bit of bread. <laughs> it just looked like toast. <laughs> Smells really nice. It does smell really I mean, good. I guess we should maybe go for lunch. Yeah. And we come back. <laughs> We're back, we're back, we're back to do a snack. We're back, we're back to a snack, 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 snack. <laughs> I liked the ramen. I really liked the tofu. It definitely had more of a consistency of like a bread that had been put in that way. <laughs> uh, I would have given it a five. Uh, Maybe a six. I would give it a five, I think. I, I wasn't, I'm going to give it a five. Yeah. I liked the taste of the tofu, but I wasn't a huge fan of the Texture. texture. I like tofu normally, but I think it was just the fact that it was kind of like dehydrated and, and then, then rehydrated. <laughs> yeah, it's it, like you <laughs> But the, the noodles and the broth were really nice. So. Yeah, I did enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on because now we move on to <gasps> Sakuraka. Ooh. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> nice to meet you. Let's have tea. Um, so we have got our matcha and mochi guide so we're going to be looking through that and oh 
I think of the little I mean, I guess we start with those. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're starting with, I'm assuming is the kitchenware, tableware item. I was actually just, we were just saying, weren't we, that my chopstick collection downstairs, <laughs> they're not very good and that I could do with getting some more. So this is perfect. Let's get these. I really like the pattern on there. I like the pattern on there. The color's really nice. Um, Yes, I like those quite a lot. I have nothing to pick up, but there we have it. We have some chopsticks. Okay, so let's have a little read. Okay, so these are the Shippo Design chopsticks. With interlocking circles representing happiness and harmony, these chopsticks with an enamel-like finish are sure to bring you good luck. Yeah, I really like those. They're really I think cute. they're really cute. I like them a lot. They're going straight into my <laughs> cutlery drawer. I mean, I'm going to give those a 10 just because it's a kitchenware item and I love adding things into my kitchen. I'm going to let... <laughs> I didn't need a phone anyway. Well, we might as well start with what's on top. What are those? Matcha cream daifuku. They're squishy. I really like the texture of it. I think it's very fun. And there's always something in the middle. I'm actually going to see if I can... Oh! That's the middle. <laughs> I don't know if I like this flavour. I like that. Really? <laughs> I'm guessing you don't. It tastes like dates and it tastes like matcha. That's really nice. I'm going to have another one. It tastes like a tea bag. <laughs> that gets... Um, like a, 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 a two because the texture is good. I would give that a seven. So this is the matcha cream daifuku and it says a perfect balance between bitter matcha, sweet cream and bean paste encased in an incredibly smooth mochi. It's definitely smooth. I love the texture of those. Yeah. I've had quite a lot of these before with different flavors, but um, that flavor was, was not for me. Is that another bun? We've got another bun. Open it on up. Oh my god. Gonna. That's the inside of it. <laughs> I couldn't wait. It smelled so good. I wish they did a box just full of these buns. Wow. Just look at those that texture and like the pattern with all the matcha. So this is Uji Green Tea Bread. It says Uji City in Kyoto Prefecture is famous for growing Japan's best matcha. Try it in a new way with this moist and fluffy bread filled with a sweet matcha paste. I give that an eight. That gets an eight. It's not as good as the strawberry red bean paste one that we had earlier. I like both of them. They're both really mm. good, but I think I preferred the flavor flavor of that one. There's one each of these. <gasps> That's what's great about these boxes. They're really good for sharing. There's a little like I don't know what's on there. Is it a carrot? Or... It does look like a carrot. Yeah. It smells really earthy. It's very strong. Very strong smell. This is what it looks like. It's it looks like it's gonna have good crunch. Do you want to do a crunch test? Do one, to... two, three. You just put it all in there. I've had this flavour before. <laughs> I kind of wish I didn't put it all in there. <laughs> so that was a burdock arare. Burdock has been a healthy staple of the Japanese diet for centuries and is often hailed as a superfood. Try its subtle earthy flavour with this crunchy arare. I'm going to give it a four. Yeah, I was going to give it a four. Let's go for these. <gasps> oh, these are crunchy. More um, crunchy boys. More crunchy boys, yes. That's a wolf crunch. I don't know what flavour it is. They're quite flavourless, but I love the crunch. So these are salad arare, and it says, Kikuichi take up to five days to pound their rice into sticky soft mochi, baked just long enough to have a crispy outside but soft centre. This arare has a rich and salty umami flavour. I give that a six. I'd probably give it another four, because it just doesn't excite me that much. Okay, whatever this is... Premium gold! This is a green tea. Oh no, it says green tea on it, but that feels like some sort of cracker. Mm. Ooh! Oh, we're missing a bit. There it is. <laughs> okay, so this is a cracker, and as we can see, inside there is green. So let's give it a little... Ooh! That mm. one... Yeah, that's good. It tastes kind of um, white chocolatey with the green tea. Matcha wafer. Using a specialist flour from Gunma, these light and crispy wafers sandwich rich and slightly bitter matcha cream. I really liked it. I would have given mm. it a solid eight. That gets a nine from me. Ooh, that was really, that's really That's when you know tasty. it's good when it gets above an eight. Mm -hmm. What's up next? Please. At first, I thought this might 
have chocolatey vibes. It just looks like, but if you feel it, like I wish you, like feel it, like how, it doesn't feel like chocolate. It feels like it's got ridges. It's got ridges squishy. to it. Yeah, that's very strange. Oh. Oh no, it was like packaging. Okay, but it is some, oh. Ooh. Now, last time <laughs> I learned a lesson. I got tricked last time by something that looked very similar to this because it looks like this is meant to be unwrapped. Is this edible plastic? Like, I don't I don't know what the edible plastic is, but last time we had these little jelly things that look like Turkish delights. And you unwrapped them all. I tried my best to unwrap it, but um, no, this is actually edible. So are you sure? Yes. Cameraman Chris has got the culture guide right now, <laughs> by the way. I'm gonna snap, try and break this in half. Ooh. See, that just looks like bean paste to me. Whoa. Okay. Weird texture. Mm -hmm. It tastes like tea bags. I like that. It's tea bags. No. <laughs> it's not for me. Anything that tastes like green tea or matcha, you're like, tea bags. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so this is Fuji Chamoshi. A rare find outside of Japan. Experience the comforting taste with this smooth mochi. The rich flavor pairs well with a cup of light tea and it's wrapped in edible oblat. I personally have to give that a one out of 10. It's not for me. I would give that an eight. That I really, an I like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not for me, but it's really interesting how different um, yeah, preferences I, I that really we have. like the, the taste okay. of matcha. Give me the next item. Right, get it out. I know what it is. <laughs> get it out. Get it out. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, guys, it's a jelly. <laughs> Look how pretty this wrapping is. So I'm going to undo it from the bottom and then reveal a jelly. <laughs> oh, right. So I have got a lovely kitchenware item, which you may recognize from the last video. Get out. Oh. <gasps> Cute! Oh my god, that smells amazing. Enjoy. Thank you. Mm. That's good. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Don't, I'm gonna drop my jelly! <laughs> now I'm gonna have to do a you. <laughs> oh! Okay, let's... <laughs> about that delightful jelly, shall we? I mean, it's all gone, so you know it was good. Oh. Um, so this was apricot kuzu mochi, and it says filled with sweet and sour Japanese apricots. This refreshing kuzu mochi is perfect for hot days. That was delicious, and it gets a nine out of 10 from me. Uh, that gets an 11 <gasps> from me. That was... I've tasted jelly better, but it was delicious. That's why well, I'm giving it a nine. I was gonna say the texture of that is so different from normal jelly. It's almost thicker, and the fact that you said it's kuzu mochi, that make it makes sense. It's almost like if normal jelly and mochi had a baby. It's, That's yeah. what that is. Like, <laughs> it was really delicious. It very was sweet. So nice, and the texture was amazing. So fruity. So delicious. <gasps> Mm, pie. We have pie each. Okay, so this is Nishio Nishio Matcha Pie. Mmm, pie. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, that's not what I would call pie normally. No, but I think it's a slice of probably what was a pie. This um, looks beautiful. It looks like the um, dissection of like a tree trunk with. A Smell that. It smells like tea bags. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It smells amazing. Okay, is it, do you reckon it's gonna have a crunch? Can confirm. Ooh. Okay. That's like if you mix bis biscotti with matcha. I don't know. <laughs> Two, one, actually, one. A one, we'll grade in a second, but. I have, it's having a one. So this is Naisho, Naishio Matcha Pie. It says folding into, whoa, folded into 432 layers before baking. Whoa. Like a lot of love has gone into that. And there's me going, Wah. it says this crispy pie has rare Nishio Matcha worked into its dough. Mm. A delicate balance between sweet and bitter. This treat is perfect with tea or even coffee. I would give that a three. Oh, oh it's quite low for you. On its own because it's ve it is very dry. But the but flavor's nice. But speaking of dry, we might find a tea in the box. Yeah. I believe Ooh. I found two <gasps> little tea bags. These are pretty, wow, look at this packet, so metallic. So this is a Sacrico 
uh, collaboration with Hagiri. 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 Um, and this is a Sakura Sentra. I am going to open one of these to see what the tea bag looks like. Um, this does look like. Oh, it's got a little. Oh, I've just put like dust all over the table. Um, so it does have a little hangy dust. thing. Dust. Do you mean tea? Yes. <laughs> tea dust. <laughs> tea dust. Um, that actually smells really nice. Yeah. It smells like. Um, quite a like a fresh fruity tea almost i'm guessing it's sakura flavor but let's have a quick read about it let me just swipe wipe the tea away so this is time for tea sakura sencha collaborating with shizuoka based tea maker hajiri we created this limited edition sencha with the aroma of cherry blossoms mm. complementing any kind of sweet or snack this blend is ideal for a spring tea break. Very nice, very nice. Let me give it a sniff. Give it a smell. Let's rate it by the smell and we will have these later. Oh, that does smell really nice. Right? I want, I'm going to give it like a six. I'm going to give that an eight just based Everyone's off Everyone's going to be like, you can't score it because you haven't tried it. But we are, we're basing it off smell. Based, based off smell. I will 100% make a cup of tea with yeah, this yeah. to drink. I like think I... six or seven. Mm, I'm going to stick with six. We've got another twofer. Woohoo! It's going to be crunchy, I think, from the, Do you reckon? From the <gasps> feel. Oh, it looks like, um, like a cereal kind of bar. That's basically a cornflake cake. So this is, sorry for pronunciation, <laughs> but I think it is Hujicha Chocolate Crunchy. It says, combining 400 years of tea knowledge from Kyoto's Rikyuan? With their modern approach to sweets, this snack by Nishimura features crunchy dough infused with roasted green tea and then covered in chocolate. I think that's why I'd probably score it a little lower because I'm clearly not the biggest green tea <laughs> fan. I like the chocolate, but I probably would give that like a seven. It was still good. I give that a nine. A I nine. would eat. I would eat more of those in a heartbeat. Okay. That was really nice. Okay, I hear you. Ooh, large. Can we try what some of these. What are those sticks? Um, <laughs> okay, let's just get straight on in. I can't tell if this is going to be sweet or savoury. I think this is going to be savoury because look at oh, those. Yes. Sniff test. Hmm. Mm. Oh no. Sweet? I can't tell. I think we've found the first thing that I don't really like. It tastes like sweet crunchy donuts. What's wrong with you? I'm not a big fan of those. They taste like... I know I know what you're getting at. They taste like the donuts that you get from the seaside. Yeah. That are like... I don't like them. They just taste like they're too deep fried. They look... They taste like hot donuts. Hot ring donuts mm. that have been overly sugared. No. Overcooked. That's what that tastes like. Which is pro probably the point, given that they're like really hard I like and crunchy. Those. I think they're quite nice. Seasonal crunch. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> <laughs> for leading you. me in. Yeah, <laughs> matcha carinto. Carinto is a simple snack with a history of hundreds of years, consisting only of flour, yeast, and brown sugar. It can easily be combined with other flavors. In this case. Matcha and matcha chocolate are added for a unique mix of crunchy, bitter, and sweet. I can't taste any chocolate. No, I couldn't taste chocolate on that. Give them a four. They get... I wouldn't go as low as one. I'd give that a two, I think. Oh, I yeah. think that might be your lowest so far, maybe. Mm. Squishy boy. Oh, you might like these squishy boys. They always have, like, some sort of bean paste in the middle. I They're, like, little... Mm. F They're quite dense buns. Okay. Love me a dense bun. <laughs> uh, this is a matcha one, so I'm probably not going to like this. Love the packet. It's kind of like this papery consistency. But we're not judging the packaging. Are you ready to see inside? Ooh. There we go. It's inside. It smells like tea bags. There's a trend with this box. You like? Mm. You Again, like. that's matcha bean paste in that. Yeah. <laughs> that's really nice. <laughs> no, I can't. It gets a one. I normally like those little buns. I just don't like matcha. I wish I did. This isn't the box for me. The consistency of that is so nice. The consistency mm. are always delightful with those little buns. Um, we like this. And Let's... the matcha's good. You just... Ego. Thank you. Boop. I'm going to give that a ten. That's really nice. Okay, so this is a matcha manju, and it says this manju perfectly contrasts the slight bitterness of the matcha powder worked into its dough with a sweet red bean paste core. Perfectly accompanies a cup of tea. I love matcha. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
What are those? I don't know. Um, <laughs> squishy. Ooh. I can't tell what that's meant to be on the front there. Sweet potato. Oh, <gasps> it's the edible plastic. It's not plastic. It's ob oblart, was it? I'm gonna. Ooh. Oh, I like it this time. What is that flavour? I recognise it. It's nice though. It's a very familiar flavour that I can't put my finger on. Let's read. I did say you sweet potato. You said it was potato. Oh my god. Sweet potato. That's weird. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like sweet potato. Sweet potato canton. Japanese sweet potatoes are much sweeter mm. than varieties found elsewhere and feature prominently in Japanese treats. Enjoy the unique taste of baked sweet potato with this canton. I would give that probably a seven. I, I really was, liked it. I was thinking six. Okay. It's it's nice, but I think I was expecting something sweeter. Give us the last thing. Drum roll, please. Ooh. Ooh. These cakes are so special in the way that they're made because see every layer that is a singular layer of cake and no there's a really way. there's a really special process of how they make these in Japan. Um, they're quite fascinating to watch. The first time I ever had one of these, I did look up a video on how they're made and it's gonna taste like green tea again. <laughs> so you're gonna love this and I think you should give the taste test first. But that's what it looks like. You can see all of the layers. That's amazing. Like look, at, it's yeah. like it's like a tree trunk with all the rings. Um, I'm gonna have this tiny bit <laughs> over here. Very delicate, um, very soft, very moist. The match is not super strong in okay. there. Still strong, strong enough that you won't like it. Okay. The texture is incredible though. Mm. And I think if you were to love matcha, you would be obsessed with this. Do you like that? That is insane. This is the um, Matcha Baum Cushion. Okay. Uh, it says, combining Japan's favorite cake with its favorite tea, this fluffy Baum Cushion, thank you, is infused with Uji's famous matcha and carefully baked to perfection. Yeah, they kind of like roll it, the batter like cooks. I'm usually a fan of these cakes. Um, I, the texture is there for me, so I would give it at least a five just for the texture. For me, the flavor, it wasn't quite there, um, but that's because it's, it's matcha. not something that I like, but probably a six, even though I don't like matcha. What about you? That's a nine. Yeah. So that was our final item. Let's move on to the final scoring. Okay, after many hours of snacking, I'm, t I'm so <laughs> tired from snacking. I'm gonna need rolling out of my studio. Um, <laughs> Cameraman Chris has kindly been keeping score for us. Now we do not know the scores yet, so can you give us the scores, please? Do, 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 do. Okay, ooh. Okay, so let's start with Tokyo Treat, which is this box. So for this one, uh, there was 15 items, by the way, in both boxes. So I got a total of 121 points for Tokyo Treat. And was that out of 150? Out of 150, yeah, because yeah. 10 points per item. And you got 128. That's a really high score for a box, considering it's at mm. 150. So that gave me an average of 8.1 and you an average of 8.5. I think we had very similar views on yeah, this Yeah, it was box. a really good yeah. box. But what's interesting is if we have a look now at the Sakurako box, same amount of items. So this is still out of 100. 150 um so you got 110 yeah that's... so this scored really highly for you still because mm. you really like the matcha flavors whereas for me i only scored 78 out of 150 which gave me an average of 5.2 and you an average of 7.3 out yeah, of 10. That's... so you seem to like both boxes but i think overall we both scored the highest on Tokyo Treat. Out of both of them, what are your like general opinions and which one would you want to subscribe to? I really enjoyed them both. Yeah. I, I think this is a lot more, I, I like the themes of them both too. This one's very traditional. The one thing I've always liked about Sakurako is that they do come with a tableware slash kitchenware yeah. item. And I think that's kind of special about that box because you don't get kitchenware with Tokyo Treat. But I think my favorite thing about Tokyo Treat is that there's some more Western, like recognized uh, names that we get here in the West. And I just really like this one. I really liked the chopsticks that came in this. And yeah, like you said, I, I do really like matcha flavor. 
but I feel like... That feels like it's more authentic to Japan. It does, but I like that there was a bit more variety in the flavours of this one, whereas the, the theme for this was Sakura mm -hmm. and afternoon... Yeah, Sakura uh, picnic. picnic, yeah. yeah. That was, I was just going to say afternoon tea, but that's more this one. <laughs> that's a previous um, <laughs> theme that we've done. Oh, really? Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I, I think underneath that banner, that kind of yeah. theme, you've got more option for variety, which if matcha isn't your favourite thing, you're kind of stuck with everything being flavoured towards yeah. that. So I would say that Tokyo Treat was my favourite. Yeah, it was my favourite But I as did well. like a lot of the matcha flavours that were in this box because I like matcha so and of course it is not just about our opinions you have watched this video today now although you can't try the flavors from home i mean you can if you order your own tokyo treat or sakura box the links will be in the description down below but as per usual i would love to hear your thoughts what were the things that we've tried today that you'd be most keen to try leave a comment down below and if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a very magical thumbs up <laughs> thumbs up for snacks and i think we will leave it there but Thank you so much for snacking with me. Thank you for having and me. And if you would like to find my bestie, Rachel, on socials, <laughs> I will leave her Instagram down below. Be very nice to her. Or you will have me to answer to. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah. She can be scary sometimes. No, I can't. No, you'll love me. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for snacking with us. And we will see you soon. Bye.